What's up guys, VA React here, back with another video. When Black Ops 3 was originally released a few months ago, I uh, tried to play it and I couldn't because at that time I was running the 9800 GTX Plus from EVGA, which was six years old, and I couldn't even update the drivers to the version that Black Ops required. So I uh, bit the bullet, finally upgraded graphics cards. I picked up the EVGA GTX 960 for the win edition. So I decided to make this quick video comparing how big of a difference does a uh, new 960 make over a six year old 9800 GTX Plus. Let's start off here with the Unigen Heaven benchmark. The 9800 GTX Plus brought in a score of 354 with an average frames per second of 14.1. Uh, the GTX 960 brought in a score of 1,676 with a 66.5 average frames per second. So we hop on over to CloudGate. In CloudGate, the 9800 brought in a score of 6,420. And the GTX 960 for the win edition brought in a score of 11,178. Almost double the score that the 9800 had. From there, I ran the 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark. The 9800 GTX Plus only being DirectX 10 compatible, wasn't actually even able to run this benchmark, but the uh, I just ran it to show you what the GTX 960 ran, and that is a score of 5,990. All right, so that's the uh, synthetic benchmark test. Now on to some gaming performance. Uh, the first game was an oldie, but a goodie. Still play uh, this from time to time. There's still tournaments hard to believe, that still run Counter-Strike Source. The 9800 averaged 201 frames a second, whereas the GTX 960 averaged 295 frames a second. Uh, we hop on over to the newer Counter-Strike Global Offense, uh, whereas the 9800 took a hit and was down to an average of 63.9 frames and the 960 stayed up around the 175.9 frame mark. So you can start to see where the uh, 960 is starting very quickly pull away from the 980. We hop on over to a more modern game, uh, Battlefield 4, whereas the 9800 could only play this game on low. Uh, it could not play medium, it could not play high, so it averaged 46 frames on low, so it is playable. It's uh, not very pretty though. The 960 hit the 200 frames a second cap instantly on low. It averaged 168 frames a second on medium, and on high, uh, the 960 averaged 71 frames a second. So for the last game, I picked uh, the game that I play the most. That's Call of Duty Black Ops 3. As I mentioned previously, the 9800 is no longer getting driver updates, so it couldn't actually load or play Black Ops at all, whereas the 960 averaged 84 frames a second on high. All right, guys, so that's uh, my quick review of the 9800 GTX Plus versus the GTX 960. Uh, I know pretty much from the start, the 960 was gonna blow the 9800 out of the water, but I think it was kinda of cool to see how far in six years graphics cards have really came. And uh, so if you enjoyed the video, wanna see more of this kind of content, uh, drop a like, hit the comment section, tell me you know what you wanna see. And uh, until the next one, I've been VA React. See you guys later.